How do you avoid excessive heating in the control cabinet? Hello and welcome back to all control panel innovation seekers. Many thanks for your interest in temperature rise evaluation in industrial control cabinets for electrical machines. Control cabinets and control panels for machines must and shall be designed for safely and reliable continuous operation for a machine under full load conditions. The risk of endangering people, animals, operating personnel through damage or failure of the electrical equipment inside of the machine or control panel shall be avoided. Impermissible temperature rise of electrical devices leads to an undesired aging and may result in a short-term failure of electrical devices. Eliminate the risk from devices and equipment failure even during the planning phases. It is necessary, for example, to exclude the damage and risk from the product liability or possible personal injury caused by electrical shock or combustion as a result of impermissible temperature. In the countries of the European Union, the requirements of the European Directive such as Machine Directive or Low Voltage Directive as well as country-specific product safety regulations shall be complied with. Low voltage switchgears are usually listed under Low Voltage Directive. Under the Machine Directive, not only machines are listed, also individual components are there. The control cabinet for a machine can fall under both the Machine Directive and the Low Voltage Directive with regards to the product safety of the European Directives. The requirements for electrical equipment from the perspective of investors and operators, such as compact space design saving, high availability, low investment cost, low risk to people and equipment, have a lot of consequences like high packing density, high degree of protection, uses of reliable and tested products. And these are just a few examples that the electrical designer need to implement carefully and efficiently. Only through professional engineering and the use of high innovative engineering tools, the electrical designer can implement the consequences safely for the design of control cabinets and also control panels. The combination of application knowledge, technical experience besides professional handling of the relevant standards and innovating engineering tools enable the designer to implement the individual safety aspects. In addition, economic aspects in terms of cost and environmental conditions, awareness will get an increasing engineering impact within the scope of technical requirements. With the free of charge temperature rise calculation tool, CMATIS term, you will be able to combine the application specific requirements efficiently for your machine and control cabinet construction. CMATIS term supports your control panel specific engineering challenges for various industry or infrastructure requirements. As an electrical designer, you can modify your requirements with regards to installation demands, ambient temperature, installation altitude, degree of protection, ventilation options depending on your project. The calculation method of CMATIS term supports the general thermal calculation method besides the advanced temperature calculation in accordance to relevant EN IEC 61439 standard for low voltage switchgear applications. CMATIS Therm supports you effectively in planning and engineering your switchgear and control gear assembly. This tool also conveniently supports you in selecting predefined or individual cabinet structures, housing or electrical devices. The user interface with its flexible device import functionality enables you to time efficiently import your bill of material list within CSV or Excel format. Based on the power loss data already stored in the typical power loss relevant Siemens control panel equipment, the tool calculates the power requirement in line with the defined preconditions. CMATIS term proposes suitable cooling and heating devices lists for use inside of the control cabinet. This proposal is based in the individual general operating conditions, device specific power loss values and consideration of implemented load balance in combination with the installation height. The calculation results and reports can be used for your design verification of temperature rise limits in accordance with IEC EN 61439-1. For further information and tips regarding optimized control cabinet construction, please visit our integrated control panel internet page, siemens.com slash control panel. If you need application specific consulting, you can send us an inquiry directly using the contact me button on the website. Stay tuned for the upcoming tutorials.
Siemens. Ingenuity for life.